Awesome. So today I'm very fortunate to be joined by one of the best cricketers to play for Australia, Steve Smith. How are you doing, Steve? Good, thanks. How are you? Very good. Holding up. That's um, the way. So if you don't mind, um, can we just jump straight in at the deep end? <laughs> and um, why not? Um, would you mind sharing your own um, mental health journey over the last couple of years? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, obviously went through a, a bit of a dark stage um, a few years ago um, where I got uh, banned from playing cricket for my country for a year. Um, it was, uh, you know, something like that getting taken away from me was um, was tough to, to sort of take. Um, so I sort of had to ride my emotions for, for a while there. Um, I was in some dark places to begin with and um, sort of had to, to lean on some people close to me, uh, my wife, my, my manager, um, my old man, and, and one of my close friends. Uh, there was a sort of a group of four people that, you know, I was able to talk to and, and just whenever I was down, helped me get through um, that difficult moment and um, sort of let me know that everything was okay. Um, whilst at the time it didn't feel as though it was, um, you know, I was still okay, everything was fine. Um, and they were able to just help me through, which, um, you know, I was really thankful for that I had those people close to me that I could talk to. And um, yeah, just sort of, they'd, they'd give me the hard truths. They'd, um, they wouldn't sugarcoat things. They'd, they'd just be honest with me and, and mm. I'd be honest with them. And um, yeah, it just helped me get through those, those dark days and, and get me back on track mentally. And did, did that just come naturally to you, being quite open? Were you always quite an open person? Um, yeah, I, I probably had to share a few more, I guess, different things with with my close close friends, just what I was going through. Um, you know, I'd have days where I was, um, you know, struggling. I was, I'd have shortness of breath and, um, you know, a lot of anxiety and um, just to talk about things with people and not just bottle it up. Um, get it off my chest. It, it made me feel better. Um, and those, um, that shortness of breath and, and those kind of things went away. So, yeah. um, it's important to do that. It's um, important not to, not to bottle things up and, and be able to just talk about what you're going through. And, um, and for me personally, just having that close group of people that I can share this information with and they'll give me, you know, the hard truths, they'll tell me <laughs> what, they'll tell me what, what it is and, um, and, and be honest with me. And um, yeah, I'm really fortunate to, to have a group of people like that, that I can talk to. Mm, amazing. Um, and um, I suppose everybody knows you for being a cricketer, um, but probably most people don't know that, um, or would, wouldn't know that you're an ambassador for Gotcha for Life. Um, could you tell us a bit about the work that you do with, or you have done with Gotcha for Life and Gus? Yeah, I'm, I'm proud to be involved with, with Gotcha for Life and, um, you know, talking about mental health and me mental fitness. Um, it, it's really important, uh, particularly, you know, with the, the suicide rates here in Australia with, you know, six men, two women a day committing suicide. Um, and those numbers may have even gone up. Um, but yeah, that's, that's unacceptable. So, uh, Gus and I have gone round to, to plenty of schools, um, sort of talked about um, what I've gone through and what I go through on a daily basis, um, just talking about mental health and some strategies and, and talking to people that are close to you, like I just mentioned, um, mm -hmm. sharing everything with them, being open and honest and having a, we call it a gotcha for life friend that, you know, um, we say to these young kids, you know, find find someone that you can talk to and um, that you can be honest with. And, um, you know, there's, there's a difference between mates and friends, you know, mates are just people you hang out with. And then you've got your friends who will give you the hard truths. They'll, um, you know, they, they'll give you a, a shoulder to cry on if you need, um, yeah. you know, let you get your emotions out. Um, so, yeah, we just talk about, you know, what I sort of went through a few years ago um, mm -hmm. and, yeah, the, the people that are close to me um, and just not bottling things up. I think as blokes, the old school way of thinking is just, you know, bottle it up. You'll be right, mate. Don't worry about it. All good. Um, yeah. But that's, I think that's so outdated. And, and now it's about just 
talking about your feelings and your emotions and being able to get those things off your chest and, um, and hopefully not letting it get to a point where it just boils over and, um, you know, there's no road back. Mm. And what sort of, um, what sort of feedback are you getting from, you know, these pupils in the schools or the communities when you actually go in there and share your story? Yeah, we've had some terrific feedback. Um, we know that, that some kids have come forward and wanted to get some help on the back of, um, on the back of our chats, um, which, you know, that, that, that was early on, um, early days and one of our first sessions that we did and to get that kind of feedback and, you know, someone go in an office and say, I want to get some help on the back of Steve and Gus's chat. That just made us, I guess, aware that, um, that we were making a difference, uh, from, from the outset and, and made us want to do more and more of it. So, um, to continually get, really good feedback and um and hear you know different schools where people have come forward and talked to you know the school counselors or the principals and um you know people have sent me instagram messages saying steve really love um your chat at the school today i, I took so much out of it and just mm -hmm. getting that feedback it's um it's sort of been a little bit scary in a way but um yeah great that the that the young kids are, are listening and and taking um, taking this on board because you know mental health and, and fitness is, is so incredibly important hmm. and, and just one last question How, how's the whole experience and uh, this journey and working with the school how, how's it changed your outlook and um, uh, I suppose outlook on on life um, I guess at, at times from a personal point of view it can actually be a little bit therapeutic um talking mm -hmm. to these kids about what i've gone through and and just keeping myself in check and and thinking about my emotions at, at the same time and and where my mental headspace is um and i guess although um i guess the darkest days are probably behind me i still have days where you know i'm not as um clear mentally as i'd like to be things are you know, we all go through different things and um, it can be small, it can be big, it can, you know, the brain's a funny thing um, and yeah. you, can, you can always be going through things. So I continually check in with people close to me and I'm able to continue having those honest conversations and, um, and, and have these people around me that can help me get through them. So whilst I went through a, I guess, traumatic event, um, that was hard, but... Um, you know, I still have bad days like everyone and anyone can have yeah. them at any time, but being able to, to talk about it and get it off your chest is, is certainly the best way to deal with it. Not let it, not let it bottle up and sort of, we use, um, I use a bit of an analogy at, at the schools. It's um, sort of each problem that you bottle up is like blowing into a balloon and the mm. more you just keep let, bottling them up, you're going to keep blowing that balloon. It's going to get to a point where it's going to burst and yeah. we don't want to see that so yeah i think i'm just i guess these days i'm a lot more aware of where my thinking is and where my um my mind's at and i'm able to catch bad thoughts and and things like that and that takes some work but um yeah i've certainly learned a lot from the visits we've done with with gus at the schools and um yeah i guess proud of the, the the feedback we've got out of those and hopefully we can continue to help um i guess teach young kids and um um make them aware that talking particularly young men talking about what you're going through is is the way to do it not this old school thinking of you know just bottle it up and take it on and you'll be right mate yeah <laughs> indeed well mate thank you so so much for spending time talking through that today and I um you know I, I'm sure you've heard it lots of times before but I think this is just adding to your your legacy and it should be something I hope you look back on and be really proud of it thanks mate I appreciate that and thanks again for your time my pleasure cheers good luck with your last few runs <laughs> thanks I might need it <laughs> <laughs> right cheers, cheers mate Bye. see ya